we are given a rational expression 6 divided by the dif difference 2 minus square root of 7 and the instructions either say rationalize or more precisely rationalize the denominator. Now this is an irrational number and nothing can change that fact. However, we have a choice in where we keep the yucky irrational stuff and we usually prefer it in the numerator. Right? Just to think about two fractions with irrational denominators, then when you get the common denominators, you're just replicating these ugly radical expressions. It's much safer to keep irrational stuff in the numerator. So we have, we have a technique to perform this. What we're going to do is we're going to use the conjugate, 2 minus root 7. The conjugate of that is 2 plus root 7. And when we multiply these two, O and I will cancel out, right? We get the difference of squares to him. 2 squares to 4, root 7 squares to 7. And O and I cancels out each other because we have a plus 2 root 7 and a minus 2 root 7. All right. But we're not allowed to change the value of this expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by 1. Remember, there are two operations we can always perform to a quantity, and those are add 0 and multiply by 1. We're going to multiply by 1. And that 1 is going to be 2 plus root 7 over 2 plus root 7. One more thing. Before we even proceed, I should have said this uh, sooner. When we multiply 2 minus radical 7 by something obviously positive, we get a negative number. So that means that this number should be negative. And that, that is indeed the case because 2 is the square root of 4 and square root of 7 is the square root of 7. So this squares to 4, this squares to 7. And when we're subtracting a bigger positive number from a smaller positive number, then we do get a negative number. So this number is negative. In the denominator, we perform the operation that we choose these expressions for. So we're going to get that negative 3. Now, if you look at the numerator there is going to be some cancellation so don't bother distributing in the numerator because we would have to just refactor it for the cancellation so 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2 so we have negative 2 times 2 plus root 7 or minus 4 minus 2 root 7 and that's the answer um, let me show you one more thing it's a useful skill to know how to check with the calculator it doesn't replace solving the problem but it is a nice way to check it. We can punch in the number given, we can punch in what we think the answer is and compare the decimals, right? These, should, these two should be the same number. So let's see if we can do that. So if we say six divided by, and we wanna enter two minus root seven, it's very important that we open a parenthesis. So then two minus, now when we say square root, the square root sign itself will open another parenthesis, so we need to close two of them now. So we have 6 divided by 2 minus root 7, and that should be a negative number, minus 9.2915. Now it's easier to punch our form, so we have negative 4 minus 2 times square root of 7. Oh, we got the same thing. So our answer is very likely correct. Again, this does not replace, this is not an exact value, right? So whenever we're asked for exact values, we have to work with the radicals. But still, it's a nice way to pick up mistakes that we made. Thank you for watching.